Hi everyone, today I'm going to do my April favourites for you, it's actually going to be about on time of the month which is um, a first basically. So yeah, there's quite a few makeup favourites this month so I'm going to get right in um, so the video is not too long. So first of all I've been loving a new, it's not really a new foundation, it's something that I had in my collection um, like last year but the colour wasn't quite right and it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. Basically, um, I recommended this to my sister um, ages ago and then she came to visit me and she was wearing it and I was like, what foundation are you wearing? That's really, really nice. And she spurred me on to go get it because I thought it looked really nice on her. So I went and got a different colour. So I've now got 103, which is True Ivory. Um, the old one I had was 201 Classic Beige and this is just too... It's too pink tone for me. It basically makes me look like I'm a salmon, which is not a good look. So I got the 103 True Ivory, and to be honest, I think this is like the second palest one, which is kind of weird because I'm obviously not really a pale person, but it's a much better colour for me. It's more yellow toned, and yeah, so I'm really, really enjoying using it. I've been using it every single day. I've even been ditching the YSL Tisha Clark Foundation, which is saying something indeed. So I'm really enjoying using that, and I'd completely recommend it as a nice, glowy, um, dewy foundation but it's good for oily skin girls too and um, it's under £10 so yeah really really been loving that. Another drugstore product that I've been absolutely loving this month is these new bourgeois cream blushes now I'm not exactly sure when these are going to be launched into store um, I will pop down below or I will pop down hopefully by the time this video goes up I will pop a blog post up about these blushes and that will have all the details on but I've been because it's Kind of, we kind of get into spring. I had a really hot day the other day, and I was on my balcony in my bikini, and I was like, "Yes, summer is on its way." And then it's gone really cold again, and I think I might have to dig the tights back out, which is a bit awkward. But I've been really liking these cream blushes because they're really, really nice for like spring makeup looks. I've got, oh, dropping it. I've got zero two on my cheeks right now, which is just a really gorgeous peachy, um, peachy one. And then number one, which is a paler peach. And then I've also got 04. There's also a third one too, which I think is more of a pinky. This is like a almost like rosy tan peach colour. They're all really, really nice. They're super pigmented. They last all day. And yeah, I've been really enjoying using them. So obviously when they come out, I definitely check them so out. If you watched my collective haul video, which I put up a couple of weeks ago, you'll know that I went a bit crazy on the Space NK website and I bought two very naughty Kevin Aquan purchases but I have to say my big purchase was justified because I've been absolutely loving using both of them this month so I got the Celestial powder which is basically oh just seen the brush fly over this is basically like a highlighter and I have to say it's one of the nicest highlighters I have ever used I do love a bit of highlighter love a bit of a glow but I find that sometimes they can look a bit too much for the daytime but this one just gives you the most amazing like it almost just gives you a sheen it just makes you look like your skin has been lit from within that sounds a bit weird but you kind of get my drift um i have got it on right now you probably won't be able to see that on her yeah i've got it on right now i don't know if you can see but um i've done a blog post about this so i'll pop the link down to that below and you can see it in action i have to say it's just really really nice and it's a really nice daytime highlighter i also got the sculpting powder because i have been always um determined can't talk today it's because i've been at work all day i'm feeling a bit bleh. Um, I've been determined to conquer contouring. Now I have probably got, I've got a bit of a round baby face and I've got a bit of a big nose. So basically if I could contour, ugh, if I could master contouring then I'd probably be a very happy lady. Basically I think I've managed to contour, I can't talk today, I think I've managed to um, master contour on my cheeks. I seem to have cheekbones all of a sudden which is a little bit weird um, and I'm getting there with the whole nose thing but I have to say this is the best contouring product that I've ever used mainly because um, I think because it's mainly mastered, mastered made mainly meant for contouring it's a really really good shade because a lot of the time when you use a bronzer they're meant for warming up your face so it means they have quite a lot of orange and red tones in them but this is like a really ashy brown colour so it means that it's great for contouring because it's more cool toned because you don't want anything too warm because it just won't work so I've been really enjoying using that I tend to use it um like under the cheeks and down the nose and then on the head and I've been using, don't know why I'm looking, I've been using my Real Techniques, I've been using like a mixture of free brushes, I've got a MAC brush, I can't remember, I want to say 189 for some reason, I've got my Real Techniques contour brush and then my Real Techniques blush brush and I find it there all really really good for more makeup and it's, I've been absolutely loving, just take it off the reference, these Benefit 
world famous neutral palette so I got sent these earlier on this month and I've been absolutely loving them I really love two of them the other one I'm not so sure on but that's because it's more like silver and purples and I'm more of a brown and girl, gold eyeshadow colour kind of girl so this is what they look like I think I might do um, a makeup tutorial using these because they're just really really nice palettes now basically they come with two cream shadows and four powder shadows and I have to say I've never been a cream eyeshadow girl before but the cream eyeshadows in these palettes are so nice I tend to use a mixture of all four from the palettes which isn't great um, and I just kind of mix it in it's just an easy eyeshadow look it's really great in the morning when you feel a bit sleepy and you haven't got too much time on your hands if I had to pick my favorite it would probably be this one here and this is um, most glamorous nudes um, does it have yeah it's called the glamorous nudes one so it's the one that looks like this it's probably my favorite because it's got um like a pale gold champagne base color and then it's got like a bronzy gold uh, cream shadow then it's got call my buff which is a creamy like highlight for your brow bow it's complicated which is almost like a rosy goldy um shade Guilty Play which is a really gorgeous gold colour and then Kiss Me I'm Tipsy which is like a brown but it's got glitter particles in it. But they're really really nice to use and I've been absolutely loving using them every single day. I've been using them every single day since I've I mentioned before because I saw like a glimpse of sunshine I've been digging out the spring makeup. Um, so I've been going for a bit of a brighter lipstick and I've been absolutely loving the YSL and this is the Rouge Philip Day. Um, 13 Peach Passion I think it's called is the proper name I bought it last May time you may remember and I wore it quite a few times in the summer and then I found it a bit too summery but I have to say now that the warmer weather is on its way I've been absolutely loving it I've got it on my lips right now it's basically like a peachy coral colour it is quite bright it's not going to be for everyone but I think that with my skin tone and um because I've been wearing a lot less eye makeup lately, I find that they work really, really well together. And it works really nicely with the peach blushes, they really complement each other. So I've been really loving that. I absolutely love this lipstick because I find that it leaves like a tint on your lips. So it lasts for quite a few hours, which is quite good because like something like this, I don't really want to be taking on the shop floor with me at work. So I find that it just gives me a bit of colour from my lips for quite a few hours, which is really, really nice. Uh, moving on to skincare, two favourite skincare products this month, they're both from Ren, surprise surprise. I basically repurchased the Clarifying Toning Lotion or otherwise known as the Farty Cleanser as I think I called it in one of my other videos. Basically I had one of those moments when um, you use up a product and when you were using it you didn't think it was all that great. But then when you stop, you stop using it you notice such a difference and I had this with this toner. I always thought it did an okay job and I never really realised how clear my skin was when I was using it and then as soon as I stopped using it I had a really really bad breakout. My skin looked really dull, really congested and I put it down to not using this toner so I went and got another one and ever since I've started using it again my skin has cleared up. It's been um, staying clearer too and it looks just so much better so I think, I think, you never know, I may have found my holy grail toner which is Big news guys, absolute big news for a beauty blogger to say that. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving it and it was one of those you never know what you've got until it's gone moments. So I thought I'd include it in my favourites because it's definitely been helping to save my skin after a horrible breakout that I had earlier. This Talking of breakouts, another thing that I purchased at the same time as the cleanser was this Ren Clear Calm Free Clarity Restoring Mask. This is like a clay mask and it's from the same family as the Clear Calm clay cleanser which you all know that I absolutely love and this one's a bit more pricey it's like £30 which is kind of a shocking amount for a face mask but I've been getting more into my ingredients and this had really good ingredients in it had like zinc which is really good for spots um pretty sure it had like salicylic acid so yeah it had loads of good blemish fighting ingredients in it so I thought I would give it a go and I have to say it's really really nice definitely think it's worth the price if you've got oily blemish prone skin when I had my major breakout, I popped this on basically um, every night for about three nights and I noticed such a difference on my skin. It just helps to clear up your skin, helps to um, keep it clear, it makes it really nice and clean. I find that with the Invisible Pores Detox Mask, that is a good mask, but I find that when I use it, I'll get like spots a couple of days later because it's bringing stuff out. It's more of like a, obviously what it says, it's a detox mask basically. But this one, it just calms your skin and it gets rid of blemishes, which is basically 
what you need when you're going through a breakup. You don't want more swatches, you just want to get rid of them. So I've been really enjoying using that as well. Yes, it's pricey, but um, always look out for discounts because there always seems to be a discount going on for Ren, whether it's free delivery or 10% off. And apparently, not apparently, it is true, Ren is now sold at Marks and Spencers in their beauty hall. So yeah, definitely check that out because it means it's more accessible to buy on the high street, which is um, big, big, good news. Okay, so moving on to my favourite hair product of the month and my final product of the month. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Treatment. Um, I ran out of basically all my hair oil um, the past couple of months and I've been using the Aldi Miracle Oil and then Macadamia um, sent me some products to try and this was one of them and I have to say I've been really enjoying using it. It's I've always wanted to try Macadamia Oil because I find that it's been quite well typed and I thought, you know what, I want to try it because I'm a bit of a hair oil um, obsessy. I love trying different hair oils. So I've been giving it a go and I really like it. It seems to be more thicker than usual, like mythic oil. It's kind of the same thickness as Moroccan oil. And um, I've only been using it for a few weeks, so I will report back, you know, in a few weeks' time. But basically, so far, my thoughts are, is my hair really shiny, really soft, and quite frizz-free? So I've been really liking using that. And um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. I'll be doing a blog post and all that kind of jazz. But I just thought I'd include it in my favourites because I've been enjoying using it and it smells really good. So that was my April favourite. Uh, I can't believe that it's May next month, which means I'm moving house next month, which is proper scary. Um, so yes, I hope you're good. Sorry this video's been really weird. Like, I had a really long day at work, and work was super busy. Like, I've never seen work so busy before, like, apart from, like, Christmas. But yeah, it was really, really busy. I'm really, really tired, and I thought, you know what? I don't know why, but I just thought I'm going to film a video, and I've still got my jacket on. Um, and I just feel like I'm really awkward in front of the camera, which is, like, a bit weird. So sorry if this video's been, like, weird to watch or anything, but, um... Yeah, that's just how the cookie crumbles. So yeah, I hope you all, all had a good April. I hope you're all looking forward to May. I know I am. It's going to be busy, but I think it's going to be good. It's going to be... A, I don't I don't know. I'm just going to shut up and go. So yeah, I hope you're all good, and I'll see you soon in my next video.